Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's talk. But before I start talking and chatting with you, I would like to say a couple of words and show you my appreciation for your support. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for sending me messages and like my videos and share it and all the good stuff, I really, really appreciate it because I cannot do it without your support. That's why I'm here. I'm here to make a difference. I'm here to help as much as I can with what I have, and that's my experience. And I'm sure you have experience, and you might be able to help somebody as well. Then let's talk about the reality. Today, I want to tell you about what is the difference between reality and being negative. And I'm sure, sure that you heard that before, that it says, is this real or is this really a negative statement? For my life, I went through a lot of stuff, which in eyes of so many people are the negative aspects of my life but I look at it as my experiences. You might have the same experience. You might have a lot of bad experience in your past that you went through, but you came out of it. Now, if we wanna use those experiences and say, you know, these things happened to me. For example, divorce happened to me. You can use that as your fuel, whatever you have learned during that time, all the sad time, all the bad stuff that happened, all the hard feelings. You have two options to accept it that it happened. That's the fact. It's a reality. If you talk about it and say, yeah, I have been divorced and all this stuff, it was bad and everything else, that's not being negative, I think. You might have your own, your own definition, but I think it's not being negative. It's being a realistic because you actually experienced that event. It was real. It was not something that you had created it. It was a real thing. Now you use those experiences to build your future, and you fuel yourself with that. Negative is like this. Life is suck. Man, life is suck. I can't do it anymore. This is, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, it's just not going to work. It's not going to work. I'm doing whatever. It's not going to work. You see? You see what I mean? The difference? When you use these kind of statements, they are negative statements because you see, life is sucks. Okay? It can be sucks, but it's up to you how you're going to live your life. You can change that. You can really change that. But some people, they don't want to do that. Therefore, they stick with their idea that, oh, you know, it's negative. Or, you know, this is what's going to happen. I got to accept this. No, it's a fact. You had a bad time. So what? I had a bad time. What we're going to do? You're going to like you cling to it and just, uh, you know, dwell on it and, uh, you know, be miserable for the rest of your life or you want to get up, dust yourself, and get going. Which one you want to do? You know, I had a lot of bad experiences in my life and I talk about it, but that's not, that doesn't mean that they are negative. It means that they were real. I really went through it. The other day I was talking with a friend and, you know, I said, you know, we're all going to die. We have one life. And she said, that's a negative statement. I don't think so that's a negative statement. As I said, again, this is my idea. 
This is what I think. You might think differently, but because we're all going to die. This is the fact. This is the reality. If you have two lives, let me know. Maybe, maybe I, can, I can learn from you and I can live again, but we all have one life, and we cannot waste it. That's not a negative statement. What I actually am saying that go do what you love with what you have because you're eventually going to die and you're going to regret when you are at 70 or 80. That's not negative. It's been realistic that it's going to happen. The soldier goes to the war. I'm going to die or I might die. That's the fact. You go to a battle. You go to a, a battle zone. Well, you expect to be like, you know, the bullet comes right here. It might, but you might die too. But it's real. But you go in there to change things. You're positive. You say, I'm going to go. I might die, but I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back stronger. I'm going to make it. But if, but if I die, I die, so be it. I, uh, you know, I die for a great cause. That's not being negative. It's being realistic. That's what you have to really understand, the difference between, between negative and realistic. Therefore, sometimes people come to your life and say negative things, but actually they are not negative. They are real things. They are the facts that they are reminding you of the reality of today or tomorrow. Or sometimes people, they come to your life and talk about reality, but actually they are negative statements. I have seen it both. But the whole subject of this reality and negativity or being negative and being real is all goes back to how we perceive the world, what we think about ourselves, what we think about the world around us. You know, you, you might be a happy person. I'm a very happy, positive person. But sometimes I have my downtimes too. That doesn't mean I'm negative. I'm just, you know, I'm just drained or, you know, sometimes I'll, I lose my motivation too, but because environment or whatever, or some problem comes, but I, I get back up and I help myself to get back up. You should do the same thing. Life is like that. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. It's a real thing. You have a rainy day. We recently had, what, seven, seven, ten days raining in Texas. Like, it was hot, but it's raining, flooding, everything. It's a hot state. It's always hot, you know, but we get rain. You get a snow. You get sunny day, rainy day. It, it happens. It's life. It's part of life. Oh, I always get rain, you know. Man, don't talk. You are negative. No, it's real. You get rain. But can you be happy in the rain? I love going under the rain and just look at the sky. It's fabulous. I love rain. Some people hate rain. Some people hate the snow. But some people love the snow. It is all, it's up to us how we look at that. We look at the situation. But one thing I can tell you that, stay away from negative people. I can tell you that that's not going to work. It didn't work for me, and I cannot stand it. Negative people, I say again, negative. Like, oh, man, whatever you do is not going to work. Nope. I try to call her 10 times, it's not, you know, she's not responding. I said, all this kind of thing that we keep telling ourselves or, you know, we bring it up. But be positive. Have hope, faith, and be real. Because as soon as you be real, you accept the facts and be realistic. And then at the same time, you keep moving forward with a positive mind. Everything is going to happen. The universe will respond to you. But you cannot sit here and ask for better life and not doing about it. The universe is not going to respond. That's real too. Basically, the reality is it's taking action. Get up and do it. Get up and do it and have a positive mind. So I can talk about this for all day. 
But I'm sure you got the idea, and I don't want to take your time more than this. But think about it today. Are you a real person? You're going after the facts, and at the same time, you keep going forward to make a better life for yourself and the people around you, or you're a negative person. You see everything in negative. At the end, it's all it's up to you, how you're going to see the world and how you're going to see yourself. But remember, as I always say, we have one life. Don't waste it. Get up. Be happy. Keep going forward. Make shit happen. And enjoy your journey. Enjoy, the, enjoy your life as you go. Until next time. This is Rami. 